spill on. Hello, welcome everybody. This is podcast tonight. The topic is navigating um, 2024. And I was actually, before I started recording, talking about my background. My background is Sedona. So I particularly picked this picture because there are, uh, it's like there are two, the, the rock is kind of split and there's a, a small gap in between. That's, that's actually where we are at um, in the, the um, here, human collective now. It's, uh, there is a, <clears throat> I don't know whether you notice, but you know, there seem to be a divide. Like there are people who who wants to um, continue to focus on drama, and then there are people who actually um, wants to focus on unity. So this is this is kind of the split, and we are going through. And um, part of the reason why I want to talk about uh, twenty twenty four is this is the height of the split, which means the height means that we notice it so much more. I know that last couple of years, there's a lot of things going on. So <laughs> I'm sorry to say that it, uh, it's not going to be less dramatic <clears throat> this year. It's, if anything, it's, everything is kind of all heightened up. Um, for those of you who are on my mailing list, I actually sent out a recording of Emilia Benz. Um, Emilia Benz is somebody who I've been following for a while. And I find that she has access to things that um, I'm not so good to access. And so I usually look for other people who, who can complement um, my own what what I can have access to so that we can kind of get a, a, um, a fuller picture of what's going on. And um, so in Elia Benz, every year, um, either at the end of the year, because this time she did this um, uh, year ahead, look, looking at the year ahead on the 31st of December. And sometimes it may be very early in January, maybe January 1st or January 2nd. So every year he she does this and she's been doing it for over 10 years now. I think maybe 12 years. So so that's so she's been doing it for a while. And I've been um attending those for a couple of years and I really enjoy the the way she puts it. So the idea is to really know what is coming up. Um not that we um kind of expect put all our expectation on it no not really is to um, really know what's coming up so that when we see things happening in the world stage then we we don't get um, blindsided we don't get triggered when we are when we know what's coming and we know what the intention of what's being um, played on the world stage then we can um, really prepare ourselves for it so that if there's anything we need to do in order to <clears throat> um, smooth, make, make our own experience much smoother, then we can do that. So this is, this is the intention of, um, of doing a kind of um, year ahead look. And um, so I don't know if everybody has seen it yet. So I actually would like some feedback from all of you so have you guys seen it and what do you think about it well i saw it mm. then yeah. she yeah she talked about a lot of things mm. Or health issue, ET, religion. I think that's what she said. I don't know. And uh, the I didn't follow the second part. You have to pay to say to watch those. So. Uh -huh. 
and um, there's, there's other people, because um, in any events, it's just one of them. You, you may have heard others as well. So I just want to, like, it doesn't have to be her, it can be anyone else. So just... Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Because there are quite a few other people that's been um, kind of giving their own... Exactly. Their, into their, yeah. their own knowing about what's coming up. So, yeah, yeah. A lot of pre prediction, good uh, ones yeah. and the bad ones. And we suppose they have a lot of difficulty ahead of us. Okay. Earth, yeah, somebody predicts the Earth movement. Um, uh, some kind of, oh, the one scared me, one thing is that I can't, <laughs> it's just the same. The big cities all have a problem. I mean, U.S. I will have a big, um, okay, so, the, yeah. Also, Trump might uh, is going to come back. That's one thing, and uh, some maybe no electricity or low, no like <laughs> <laughs> a lot of scary things. Yep. Well, <clears throat> um, a lot of things happening in in twenty twenty four. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Um, any any other comments before I? I I think because I listened two three times, so so I, to me. It's like this, okay, a lot of things are coming, but the most important was be aware. If you're aware, it can pass easily. So don't, uh, if something is happening, don't think that, oh, you go into the fear mode. Once you go to the fear mode, you're dropping your vibration down. So since you got the message, so make sure you remember that when any situation comes to in on your way. So just say, yeah. Little pass. That's yeah. what I got. <laughs> no, that's good. I didn't. Uh, yeah, that's everybody said that. Don't be fair, and uh, maybe there is a war, but there is other people's war. It's not your war, not our war. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Yes. Please, please, please go ahead, Charlotte. Well, one of the things that I I I kept to myself, I heard somewhere, is that it would be a good idea to be able to find a method to ground yourself very quickly, so that if you are thrown off center, that you'll be able to find yourself back, sort of, um, centered again as quickly as you can, because there may be a lot of that for the first half of, tw of 2024. And, and I'm not real sure how to do that. I mean, I can go outside and hug a tree, but I might not be able to go outside. <laughs> okay. So I might have to find other ways, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Isn't, yeah. isn't that the affirmation like you, you say, you put your thought in there, I am grounded, okay, I get ground, like a 0 0.01 and activate. And then you imagine you are grounded to, to the it, into the Mother Earth, so you will be grounded. Doesn't matter where you are. That's what how I feel. It. I'm on fourteenth floor, so it, <laughs> I don't think I go down to uh, ground. No. But I I can sit in my room and I really feel that I am grounded. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Um, anybody else wants to add their how you how you say that zero point zero one activate? 
that's Nisha. Yeah, that's what the Shifu says. Like if you wanted to connect it to a ground yourself, 0 0.01 activate. Open connect activate. So open mm -hmm. connect activate. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You guys You're in welcome. Canada maybe a little bit better than us. We are here. I'm in uh, Massachusetts. Today they already declared everybody the residents have to host immigrant uh, illegal Im immigrants at their home. Oh, that's that's ridiculous. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> that's in the New York. Uh, in the news, New, uh, New York says some school uh closed to host the uh, host those uh, people. So it's already started. Yeah, it's um, uh, especially I think in the in the U.S. Yeah, it's getting intense to say yeah. to put it mildly. Yes, because it was flowed. It was a lot of water in in the um <clears throat> in that island where. All that uh, people used to live for, for temporarily. So they decided to bring them in a school. But parents, of course, was very, very worried about that. So they came and make a demonstration. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um. Any other comments no. before I begin? Yeah, please begin because that, that way we will have a better understanding what we heard in the, uh, with the Anelia. So, so um, how shall I put it? So, so let's, let's begin. That's, I just want to preface before I begin is this is, this is really, from my own experience, my own understanding. Um, so it's, for me, it's, it's my suggestion. Um, and I just want to let everybody know that, you know, yes, um, there are many things being orchestrated to happen. Um, and sometimes it may, like, even though we we think that, or we, we, we want to, Get to the point where we create our own reality and sometimes the um, reality is being pushed on us however i just want everyone to um I, I actually want to suggest to everyone is that no matter what is happening around you is you can always um find your own balance and this is really what each one of us here to do like that that is our primary job our primary job is to remember who we are um so what do i mean by that remember who we are we we are more than just this body we are more than just this person this personality that i that i'm i'm way more than what winnie is i am a lot more than that However, I do have, like, even though, yes, my, my soul or the, the, the spiritual part of me is a lot more, have a lot more access. However, I am still playing in this environment through my body. So um, the does not say that, um, yes, I am more than this. However, I am this as well. I, I have a body. And I am more than my body. However, I need this body to play as well. So, in why do I say this? Is because we have we have access to different levels of our own consciousness. And um, and when we remember, and most of the time when we are in our body and we have these all these things happening in 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 front of us. 
what is the point of all these things happening is really to shrink us, to convince us that, you know, yeah, we all these things happening, we have no say in it, things are being pushed on us, and we are victim. So we are kind of, it's easy to look at it that way. However, that is really the point. The point is, yes, if you feel that you don't have power, if you feel that things are being pressed and crammed down your throat, for you to, uh, and, and your reality is being um, invaded by other thought forms, other people, whatever it is that is making you feel small, is to, it's time for you to remember to step back and remind yourself that you are more than this. You're more than this body. You actually have a lot more access. You actually are a lot more powerful. And when you can access that part of yourself, that larger part of yourself, the more often you can access that part of yourself, um, the more powerful you can get. And that is the point of all of these things that's being orchestrated, whether it is um, you know, gender agenda or whether it is all the different wars that are trying to be um, started or already started, or whether it's um, the political scene blowing up um, and or, or, you know, all of these things happening is really the, the point is to shrink us down. So then our job is really to access that higher part of us that cannot be shrunk down. And the more you can stay in the the, the um, powerful higher um, point of view, then the easier it is for you to shift around. And um, yes, yeah, okay, that's that's the most important point. First point. The second point is yes, all these things are being orchestrated, but. And there's a big but. It does not mean that it is going to happen. It doesn't mean that every war that is being pushed is going to happen. Because um, it, it's not. Um, we have a say in it. Uh, the hu human collective has a say in it. Yes, the, the, um, the health is going to be a big part of it next year. So there's a they're trying to keep the the you know all, all of the health um, issues that we've been experiencing in the last couple of years. They, there is program to keep repeating that to you know say oh okay there's another new strain another new strain from this area of the world from other areas of the world. So that because it worked so well in the last couple of years, so that's why. It's still being perpetuated because it has worked. But does that mean that it is still going to work? Um, not necessarily, because, well, after a couple of years, some of us are getting suspicious. Some of us are waking up. So how how many of us? What's the percentage of us? So we are we are slowly but surely. Um, more and more of us are getting wiser about what's going on. So it's just simply a matter of time that, you know, there, when enough people recognize that, oh, this is actually just a hoax. There is, we, yes, there may be viruses, but, you know, there has always been virus. There's always been um, disease. However, our own innate um, our own innate immune system is robust enough and be to be able to handle a lot, not everything. Um, there are, of course, there are still things that um, our body may not be able to 
work fast enough. However, most of the time, our immune system, when given enough um, nurturing, would be able to respond and be able to protect us rather than needing to go into more extreme measures, let's put it that way. So um, it does not mean, it, it, it feels like that we don't have a choice, but we actually do have a lot of power. We actually do have a lot of choice. The main thing is to remember that, you know, have access so, um, as much as possible, access that bigger part of you. The more you can, so don't wait until, you know, you get triggered. I highly suggest everybody to at least once a day to really spend 20 minutes. If you can do longer, even better, is to just be with yourself. Um, whether it is, whether you want to do a, you know, quiet meditation or whether you prefer to do other kinds of meditation, like walking in nature is, is, can be a meditation as well. So do what works best for you. However, it really is imperative. I would suggest that it is imperative that you need to meditate. If you don't have a meditation practice, if you don't do this every day and, and you try to um, center yourself or ground yourself when things get rough, um, good luck because <laughs> you don't have that base. So the, the key to grounding yourself is to give yourself that space on a daily basis. Like before you need to ground yourself, you have to ground yourself meaning that you give yourself um, space to meditate. 20 minutes or more or less, it really depends on um, your, um, your own lifestyle. So, so um, however you do really, um, it's, it's best if you already have a, a base and you can form that base just by meditating, by just going within yourself to connect with yourself, connect with your body because a body is being bombarded from all sides. Um, there like health issues has been pressing and then there's a lot of anxiety. Um, they, they're always threatening to either have um, like start another new wall or finance is going to um, like financial hardship, all of that. So all those things, um, the end result is that our body feels very threatened. Not our soul. Our soul because it, you know, it's not material. So our soul doesn't really get affected. However, our soul needs the body in order to experience this reality. So whatever we can do to strengthen that connection between our soul and our body, that is going to be the best way to ground yourself. So um, I just want to pause here for a while just to ask for any uh, feedback, questions so far before I continue. <laughs> So far, so good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, meditation, yes, and other ways to to really help yourself navigate. Is other ways that you can connect with your body and let your body feel safe because there is so much. Um, our body is really the, the target. There's is, is so many things kind of attacking our body. There is, you know, the um, frequency being targeted at, at us, whether it is 5G um, or, or thought forms. So um, 
I think um, in, in the earlier events that, that mentioned that um, there is, if you feel tired, if you feel tired, not because you had a healing or not because you had a 5K run, then then yes, then then there is a good reason for you to feel tired. But if you if you are um, consistently or at least for a couple of days for no good reason of all feeling tired, then um, some people may chalk it up as, oh, that's a sanction symptom. However, um, that may or may not be the case. It may, like, if it's something that um, happens a lot and is interfering with how you enjoy, how you are being able to enjoy your life, then I would suggest that. Take it as though it's um it's a negative thing rather than that it's part of the ascension, ascension symptom. Um, because I yeah, there are an ascension symptom, it, there there is such a thing. However, it's not natural for a healthy human body to feel tired all the time. If you're feeling tired all the time then um, I would suggest you do some detoxing. Um, so we just, I'm not a doctor, so I cannot, uh, I will not and cannot really tell you how to best detox. So you will have to um, do some digging to find and, and do some experimentation to, to see what works best for your body. So detoxing, because toxins within our body will um, tend to clock our system up so that we don't process energy efficiently. So if you're feeling tired a lot of the times, then it may be your body telling you that, okay, you need to detox. And it could be a physical thing or it could be um, it's emotional detoxing. So which is which? I can't tell you. You are the one who has to um, kind of experiment and find. I, I do find that, uh, for, for example, I do find that um, the last well, last two, three weeks um, while I was on vacation, I did a lot of emotional detox. It was like pretty much my, my full-time job was to just sit there, um, not, not all day, but at least like 20, 30 minutes at a time to just detox myself emotionally so I would just um find so the the, the one that I detox most the, the emotion that I detox I targeted most is fear because I do find that I don't feel safe in my body and I, it, it it has kind of become um like a flashing at me so that's what, how, why I, I know I need to do that and after I've done that, though, I do feel like now after two, three weeks of consistently every day, just doing 20, 30 minutes of that detoxing that I really do feel so much better. And I do find myself um, like a lot of the aching symptoms is easing off. So do detoxing your body. Don't just um, accept that. Do not accept um, your body not functioning well as ascension symptom. No, um, maybe for for a short period of time, if that's what's what your body needs to do in order to um, process the incoming energies. Yes. However, if that is a the overriding feeling you have, always feeling tired, then something else is at play. So don't accept um, that as, you know, well, nothing I can do, essential symptom. I have to just write it out. Um, no, you don't. There's something you can do to support your body. Doing detoxing, whether it is physical detox or emotional detox, or mental detox. I did the mental detox as well. So yes, questions. Um, sometimes I can name 
that emotion what I have if it's strong emotion but sometimes I don't know what kind of emotions are hiding inside you don't have to know the emotions so how you do detox what you're saying okay so do you have any emotions right now no. Okay. Um, so, how is your liver doing, for example? When you, when you get in touch with your body, it could be liver or if you like, you can connect with your kidney. I feel okay. it's okay. It, uh, okay. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, so what I usually do is if there is an emotion coming up, um, what I do is when the emotion comes up, I may not have a name for it, but I certainly have a feeling because emotions is really orchestrated by different chemicals, a combination of chemicals in your body. So you would be able to feel it. Is that correct? Yes. You would feel something. You may not have words for it. It does not matter, but you can, you can feel it. So when you can feel it, then you just notice that feeling. And you notice and, and take a note of, you know, okay, I notice that there is this feeling. So just arbitrarily give it a number. Is it a, um, a feeling? Do I have this feeling as being a 10, 10 being the most? Like I'm completely overwhelmed or is it a five kind of, I can feel it, but it's not overwhelming and that it's just strong enough for me to know that it's there. Or is it just, you know, partly noticeable? So kind of give it a number so that you can track um, the progression, okay? So you kind of give it a number, let's say it's a five. And then what you do is you just notice the feeling, know um, where you are at, meaning the number that you assign to it. And then you just um, observe that feeling. So don't try to get rid of it. Don't try to do anything. Just focus on it without um, needing to do anything. So just observe it. And uh, allow that, that feeling to take you wherever it is that it is trying to take you. And uh, the important part is don't try to make a story out of it don't try to say oh this feeling is because you know so and so did this to me so that's why i have this feeling you don't need to know why you just need to know that it's there and you just need to know how um significant it is by the number that you give it and then you just observe it and when you observe something without um tying a story to it the energy itself, because your body knows how to process energy. So your body will start to shift the energy. And you will notice, let's say after five minutes, it will feel a little bit different. And then maybe after 10 minutes, it will feel even more different. Um, so However it is, give yourself a time frame. Like let's say if you have 20 minutes, then give uh, free time, then give yourself 20 minutes to just observe how this feeling is. And at the end of it, it's just um, find, uh, like try to um, assess where it is. Is it still a five or did it went up or did it go down? So the, the, um, the objective is to get to the point where 
at some point it will start to get it will be it will uh, work itself out until it get to zero so you don't even feel it anymore and if you just do those things just allow yourself allow your body to process that emotion it will work itself out at some point does that help yeah thank you okay um, um i'm i'm yeah. wondering um if something comes up and it's a little bit stronger than a 5 how do you pre prevent yourself from not creating a story? Like it creates a loop and then the loop keeps going around and you got this story, you know, real quick. It's very fast, very fast. <laughs> I know, it's very fast. Um, yeah. No, you, um, it takes discipline. And at first you won't be able to. At first you will, you will be all twisted. Yeah. So just yeah. allow yourself to get twisted. Allow yourself to get twisted. And okay. at the end of it, like you can't get twisted for, you know, 24 hours or, or maybe <laughs> you can, but you can't get twisted uh, forever. So that's, that's for sure. You can't get twisted or at the same level of being twisted forever. Okay. So at some point you will start to come back down from the ceiling. That's when you can start to um, do the work because sometimes when you're so triggered, uh, yeah, you can't help it. And so if you yeah. can't help it, then let it run its course. Okay. Let yourself get twisted and be okay with it. Yeah, you and and try not to kill anybody, <laughs> including <laughs> yourself. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, yeah, sometimes you can't, um, but. Um, like if you can't, you can't. So nothing you can do. Just let it run its course. And when you calm down, then you can start to do the real work. Is okay. to um, discipline yourself to not repeat. Because when you when you latch onto a story, so and so did this to me. They are not right. It is like <laughs> it is like, because we are. Um, I think Anelia Benz said it well, is that we are people who like justice. Like usually the the the, the good people, they like justice. They, they want to stay in the right. So we are very justice oriented. And when something is just not right, it irks us. It really puts us through the roof and over. So um, know that, you know, yep. Yeah, when that happens, just let it go. And and then also discipline yourself to know that um, whenever you have a story, it will keep winding yourself up. And when, yep. So yep. when you keep winding yourself up, then you're not setting yourself up for um, success. Okay, so thank you. The only way to let go is to let it go. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Thank you for the question. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I there are times when like there's nothing you can do when you're over the top. You're over the top. Okay. Any other questions, comments? Okay. Um let me see. Um, so I'm just going to give a quick recap of what what are being planned. Uh, I know not everybody has has read has has seen the video, and I would actually I should. Then okay, when I get a chance, I will. Um. Put the video in the chat so all of you would um, if you choose to is to go and look at it and so the okay what are the big things um health big thing health is for the coming year war is being pushed and then um et's uh, which is extraterrestrial 
and um, AI, so artificial intelligence. So what um, what to look out for in health. So in health, um, it's really important to support your body. Very important. Not just to allow yourself to feel safe to be in this environment. Also, it's because, um, yeah, we need we need this body to experience this reality. So health is like if you're if your health is not in a good place, no matter how spiritual, how strong you are, the connection through the body is just not going to be right. So the more you can do to help your body the better your experience is going to be and the stronger your mind is going to be because it is just much plain easier to be happy and in a positive mood when your body is also happy and in a positive place as well. So support your body, um, do detox and all those things. And, um, and the other... And one of the, the agenda being pushed is to um, kind of let us know that, you know, there, there's there been a lot of a cure, quote unquote, cure for the, um, for all the health issues that we have is, and um, the, what's being, what's going to come out or what is trying to be pushed out is that, you know what? Um, there's actually every cure has its drawbacks. So these, what we think of as being, um, we we take some cure, but actually, like I'm, I'm not saying the word because I think um, it's. I really want this video to go out and to to more people. So I just want to keep it as. Um, <clears throat> Tone down as possible. So all all the cure that's been pushed out, pharmaceutical kind of of, of cure, is that um, we we already know that is that every everything we whether food we eat or um, any kind of um, supplements or medication we take, there is always uh, a there's always a, uh, I would say, downside. There's a negative side to it. Uh, it could be, it could be a um, side effects and all that. So it's a, a it's really a balance. Try to balance the two. Um, if you, there will always be side effects, even for food you eat. There will always be some side effects because you know our food, how our food get. Um, processed and put in until we, we can buy from the you know, grocery store till we cook it and put it on our table. There are so many steps in between, so many ways that um, different toxins can get in. You know, it could be the, the pesticides from the, the, the farmer, it could be, um, you know, stuff that they do in the grocery store in order to keep it as fresh as for as long as possible. Or when we cook, then if we are not using the, the um, best cookware for or the least toxic cookware, then there's always room for toxins to creep in. So even though we, we buy the best food, but there's always some toxin. And that is not just for food, for any other um, pharmaceutical cure as well. So there will always be some side effects. And so that's why detoxing is so important. And that's why, um, and what is being pushed this year is that the, they're trying to tell us that, you know, certain cure is because it's been rushed. So that's why, um, all these side effects that we don't even know existed is actually uh, it's there and and it's doing more harm than good. So that that is trying to be pushed and and I know there's a lot of 
um, there are, or I, I shouldn't say there's a lot, but there are some doctors actually coming out to say that, oh, okay, yeah, this is, this, this, this is happening, it's being put into the, um, the cure, that's why um, things are happening, or, or other um, illnesses are just being on the rise, is coming, so why so when you hear something like that or any agenda in either mainstream or even alternative media you have to ask yourself this question is so is this going to support me or is this going to um derail me it doesn't mean that you don't listen to anything whether it's like yeah these these things are true it's, it's true that you know everything has side effects even under the best of conditions there will be side effects however um it really is the intention behind this push so what i'm trying to say is follow the narrative if the narrative is to put more fear into us because, oh, okay, you took this remedy and now, you know, you are, yeah, you're toast. You, you kind of, you know, swallowed up a poison pill yourself. So too bad, so sad. There's nothing that can be done. Um, or worse still, you encourage this remedy to someone else um, in your family, your loved ones, and now their life is in jeopardy. So, like all of this is actually trying to be orchestrated to bring us down. Um, we are powerful individuals. If we choose to be healthy, nothing in the world can take us down. Um, doesn't mean that you choose it and the next minute you're going to be healthy. No, you choose to be healthy and then you follow that choice and to find and create your own healing story so that you rid yourself of all of these um, ailments. And because we are such a powerful human collective, the, the 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 real remedy, the real things that to help us um, detox ourselves, they're out there. We just need to make that choice that, okay, we want to live. We want to be healthy. We have to make the choice and then create the healing journey. And the healing journey may take three weeks. It may take three months. It may take even longer. However, when we persist in it, we will find the way and we will find the right resources, we'll find the right people to come. And so no matter how much um, the, the, the media, whether it is mainstream or alternative media, um, just because it's alternative media, don't, don't think that alternative media, there is no, no agenda. Everybody has an agenda. You have to ask yourself, is the agenda um, supporting you or not? I, I know there, there are a lot of good people, but they still haven't quite um, let go of the, like that paradigm yet. So they're trying to uncover the truth, but in a way that actually it's not helping at all. It actually has the opposite effect. So just be more aware of that. And when you when you find that, okay, yeah, you've made a choice and it's a bad choice, just know that you can always make another choice and create your own um, pivoting story to get yourself or back yourself out of a bad choice. There's nothing that will box you in so that, okay, you take this, that's it. 
there's no way out. No, that's not how it works. You are eternal essence and body. You have free will choice. You can make a choice and you can unmake a choice. And it's always your choice. If you, you, you will never be always boxed in. There's nothing like that. And if you convince yourself that you are being, yeah, there's no other choice, then that's your choice as well. So, um, okay, that's all I want to say about health, unless anybody wants to ask a question or have other comments. No? Okay. The bottom line I, is... I have a comment. Sure. Go ahead. Um, I, well, maybe you don't know, but I was a yogi and I did a lot of yoga practice and um, uh, I've been getting some education from a woman who does um, um, polyvagal or he, he helps she helps you with your nervous system. And um, she said it's so important for your nervous system to be regulated. And, you know, if you help your ne nervous system, then your body, your, even your thoughts will clear, will get better. So I don't know if, what you think about that. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds true. Um, nervous system is really helping your body to feel safe. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I, that, 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 that sounds true. Yeah. Because when your body feels safe, um, you can really feel yourself expanding. Mm-hmm. And yeah. of course, the reverse is too, is when you don't feel safe, then you you are contracted. That's right. why there's so many things is aimed at um, convincing you that you're not safe. Very true. And what does Chinese medicine say about the nervous system? I know it's big on qi. And chi what circulates, but maybe our nervous system, when it's not working it right, your chi gets blocked or your meridian gets blocked. Um, I'm not a very, I'm not very well informed in terms of Chinese medicine, so I am not the, uh, I'm not okay. the best person to answer that. I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> no problem. Mm -hmm. uh, but very true is, it's really to support your body. Why? Yes. Because, <laughs> yeah, right now the world looks crazy, but the world looks crazy just because um, we are shutting one system down and we are starting the next one up. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's so important to support our body because we want to be alive to see the new system because the new system is really one um, very simple um, explanation is it is going to be heaven on earth that's what we are aiming for heaven on earth so right but it's not yeah. going to happen overnight it's not going to happen overnight so that's why we want to support our body so our body feels safe to keep staying in mm -hmm. this playground so that we can actually see heaven on earth that's what we are here for we you think we're going to see it in our lifetime i, I certainly aim to see it in our lifetimes, totally. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank totally. you. Yeah, I totally, um, like 2030 is kind of a, by 2030, we either, well, no, not either. Um, You will really be able to, tell that we are well on the way because 2024 we are just we're just at the peak of uh, splitting so I don't know if everybody know what splitting is because we have 
we have two playgrounds in the same location. Um, we have the 3, 3D, which is very um, body-based. So everything is the body. We are the body. We only have the body. And if the body dies, we die, and that's it. So that's, that's the 3D mentality. 5D is when we actually realize that we are eternal essence and we experience this reality through our body. So we have a body, but we are way more than our body. And the more we um, let our body um, be the, or clean up our body um, and be able to let the, the spiritual part of us come through, the more we can create heaven on earth. And so that's why um, our body is being bombarded because when they bombard our body, we cannot expand. We cannot expand. And the spirit will not be able to be embodied properly. So, <laughs> so our job is to stay alive. <laughs> to support your body to stay alive and or to, to, to do, um, to really help one another out. So if you, like, especially we already have a group of people here, so reach out to other people in this group. Whomever it is that you feel drawn to reach out to. So it's not not just me, but everyone else, let everyone else, um, or, be your resource as well because you may feel more connected to one or all of or some of the other participants is you know just support one another and um to stay positive to stay healthy to to play in this interesting playground we are on Okay, so any other health or body related things? Okay, let's move on then. If no other comments or questions, um, pushing walls. So there's, as already, well, okay, that's already, um, the one in Israel, I don't know. I, I haven't been keeping taps on it. I don't know whether there's is ceasefire or is we are, the ceasefire is, is done and this keep um, and they're at it again. But there are there are so the, the more the, the most up in our face is um it's one or two. And then I'm quite sure that there are many other places that there are still various stages of wars going on. It's only that it's, they are not being pushed in front and center. So um, war is being pushed because why? Um, division, when we are divided, when the human collective is divided, then um, we are less powerful. There will come a day when we will not be resorting to fighting to the death anymore. There will come a day. If it's not going to be today. It's not going to be tomorrow. Well, most likely not going to be tomorrow, but there will come a day in, in my lifetime. Will it be? Well, I don't know how long I'm going to live. Who knows? But um, I would say it's it's going to happen within, I don't know, what it feels like. Completely no more wars and nobody would even think of starting a war. Maybe give it 20, 30 days at least. I mean, I mean 30, 20, 30 years at least. Um, That's when we actually collectively would have worked out all of the, um, you know, okay, I am struggling 
So we, we are getting to the point where we recognize that, you know, we are actually all here on earth as equal participants. No one has any more or any less rights than the other. And that no one actually own anything right now. Um, we, we are led to believe that, you know, um, okay, I own this piece of land and someone else own another piece of land. That's actually just a, a structure. It's not real. Nobody actually can own anything because we all here to play and um, we don't own it. We can't own it. And um, ownership will one day be revised. Um, so all of that. Pushing war is really to divide us so that we are weaker and also to um, create dramas and trauma and all those things. So why, what, what should we do when we, what's our, what can we do when things like this happen? Um, it's a lot of, not just on the walls, but a lot of things is to keep neutral. Why? Because if we try to take sides, if we try to say, oh, okay, Israel is right, or if we kind of try to say, I'm also right, it doesn't matter. As long as we take sides, we are actually feeding into the, the low vibration paradigm. So nothing is wrong with feeding the low paradigm, low vibration paradigm, if that's what you want to do. And, but I just want to let you know that if you take sides, then that's what you're doing. You, because um, when you take sides, you only look at things from one point of view. But when you look at things from multiple point of views, you will start to notice that, you know, yeah, no one side is absolutely right and no one side is absolutely wrong. There are perspectives, different perspectives. So as eternal essence, if you want, the more you can... Um, keep in neutrality, the more you would be able to keep yourself high vibration and be able to access more of your true nature, which is your true nature is you are essential, you are um, eternal essence, eternal. Um, you don't lack anything. And that you are able to consider and entertain all points of views without getting hung up on any one particular point of view. Um, you have preferences, however, you are able to accommodate and play with other people with different points of view without needing to shoot at them or you know cut them down so that's what that's what you the the eternal essence part of us is we we are grown ups we don't need to fight each other to the death like kids so maintain neutrality and if you cannot maintain neutrality then then you know that that is going to keep your um, vibration lower and that's okay if that's where you have to play for now um questions about that before i move on to the next one so if you're not gonna owe anything it's mean <clears throat> i don't have to pay my mortgage <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, but don't don't. Uh, that is something that is to come. 
So for the time don't being, don't stop yeah. now, right? Don't no, stop. We, we still have to. We we still we still um into ownership. We still. I own this, <laughs> and I feel so proud of myself for owning this. Yeah. We're still at that stage, or at least some of us are still at that stage. At some point, um, we will collectively agree, okay, we don't need that. Yes, we, we, we're we not owners, we are caretakers. So I stay in on this land, I'm the caretaker of this land. And if someone else wants to come here and play, then we, we share. So that is, that's kind of more than what the natives are. Um, originally is we are we are the caretakers so okay let's move on next next thing is ets so um hmm. <clears throat> et has been hinting at in the background for actually a long time now. And uh, 2024, um, there probably, if not this year, the next year is going to be really formalized, not formalized, I should say. Um, I know that different governments have been saying that, have been acknowledging that extraterrestrials or aliens from outer space do exist. And that they are real and they've been here and we actually have had some of their um their planes that the, the crafts that they they come to earth they actually have um like some governments have possession of those crashed um spacecrafts and maybe even some uh, dead bodies of of a species of of beings that is not from earth so it, it's something that has actually have been with us for decades. However, it's always been kind of um, hush, hush, not acknowledged. And if you try to talk about it, people would think, ah, you are one of those conspiracy theories. Um, so, so that's that's been the the way the government handle it so far but starting the last last couple of years there's actually been more acknowledgement from government when i say government i mean um, u.s government because u.s um it's kind of like the um kind of like the um one of the, the more powerful nation on earth so when a small country like i don't know <clears throat> Uh, Mexico, let's say, or some other, well, not small, but uh, less powerful countries say that, oh, if there are UFOs, then, you know, people can just say, eh, what do they know? But when the U.S. government says, yes, there are ETs and we know how to handle them, then, then uh, everyone will have to take notice and so within either this year or the next year or in 2025, there's going to be a formal recognition that you know, there are extraterrestrials and we've been dealing with them from the US government. So um, why? Because the energies are so high now. Um, and, and because this is a playground, and the way consciousness works is that the higher the energy, it will our consciousness will go up. It's it's physics. It's not like it's it's not um it's not some there's no mystery. The the everyone I would say that you know more highest civilization who has gone through what Earth is going through now, which is switching to a higher um, playground, have gone through this, is when the energy is high, then the consciousness of everyone 
that's on Earth, that's on the same playground, have no choice but to go up as well. So what happens when our consciousness goes up? We will see things that at a lower consciousness we cannot see, meaning that we will see more um, spacecrafts. Right now, because of our consciousness, we are not able to handle seeing these spacecrafts that um, <clears throat> up until now, the majority of the, the human civilization um, have been conditioned to not acknowledge, to say that, oh, they don't actually exist. So it's, um, and now that our consciousness is getting higher and higher, we're getting to the point where no government would be able to brainwash us to not see them. So that's why it's actually, they have to, they have to announce it, they have to acknowledge it. They acknowledge it before it gets to a point where, you know, everybody, no matter how, what their consciousness is, they can see them. They can see these spacecrafts. They can see these. So that is something that is going to happen um, sooner rather than later. <clears throat> and is, the is government... it... Oh, sorry. I, I was just cool. wondering, is, is it possible that also we will see maybe... Um, different levels of, of, of different objects that we see all the time, like we'll see the sky differently, or we'll be able to see um, like trees differently than we do now. Yeah. Just all of a sudden, like like when you talk about ETs, I'm wondering to myself, like I can only think in my own mind, but if I was an ET, I wouldn't go near earth because they're crazy there. <laughs> Um, yes, and I just want to touch on, thank you for asking your question. I actually want to touch on that as well, is that Earth is a playground. And I know right now, you know, most of us think that, you know, this, this there is this round ball called Earth, and there is, I don't know how many, like seven continents, or I don't know how many continents, and, you know, there is Africa, there's America, blah, 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 all these, these it's not. That's not the reality. I'm not saying that it's a it's a flat Earth. I'm not saying that either. Um, we've been conditioned to think of Earth as one thing, as solid, as one thing. Mm. It's not. It's a playground, and. Depending on your level of consciousness, you will see what your consciousness will allow you to see. Hmm. And now that our consciousness is me, it's being, um, you know, raised up, we will start to expand what we can see. So it's inevitable that we will see what we called, um, you know, ETs or spacecrafts but not all of them are going to be actually from outside. There are actually other civilizations that's also playing on this playground. They are only playing in this playground at a different consciousness level. So um, one that I know of for sure is Lemuria. Lemurians, um, like we, we were given the story that, oh, Lemuria was, um, you know, they, that, that civilization is an old civilization that died. No, they actually are still around. Lemuria is still around. It's just that um, when, the hum when our human collective uh, decided to play with the light dark paradigm, the Lemurians said, no, thank you. You guys go ahead and play. We are going to, you know, shift to a different, um, you know, consciousness and play at a different playground. Um, no, at the same playground, but at a different um, dimension. So, mm -hmm. so as our consciousness goes up, yes, we're going to see not just 
beings from outside of this playground, but also see the other tribes of people that are within this playground. They're just not playing at our level of consciousness because our level of consciousness hasn't been high at all. And we've been very, um, we've been very kept very low at a like, and and it's by consensus. And now that we, as a collective, decides to no longer play in this low vibration, um, that's why our consciousness is going up so fast. So we will see other tribes. And they may or may not look diff um, too different from us, but they will have completely different um, experience from us, even though they played in the same playground, but they played at a, it's, it's like in a school. In a school, you know, um, there is grade one and then there's grade nine. What the grade ones are, um, are learning, totally different from what the grade nines are doing. So that's what's happening. We are kind of at the, the grade one level. And um, and so there are other um, inhabitants on the same playground. And as our consciousness go up, we will start to get to know them. Um, and it, how, how soon or how much we're going to get to know them really depends on um, each person. The more you familiarize yourself, the more you are able to uh, grasp it. Oh, okay. So it's not just humans. You mean there are Lemurians there? You mean there are Sasquatch there? You mean there are fairies? You mean there are blah, blah, blah. All the other inhabitants there? Unicorns, unicorns. They are there, yeah. <laughs> They're there. We just we just couldn't see them because our consciousness um did not allow us to interact with them. Mm. I don't know whether you guys, uh, if if anybody um saw the movie um the first one, the first um what's that? Wonder Woman. So there is an island where Wonder Woman lived and it was like, you wouldn't know it's there until you pass the, the portal. And not everyone can pass through the portal <laughs> to get to the, the island of where the, the you know, this tribes of the, the Amazonian women are. So it's kind of like that. I mean, visually is, yes, there are other tribes on Earth. We just don't get to interact with them, most of us, most of the time. And uh, there are exceptions. Uh, okay. So there's more and more of that going on. That's why um, the U.S. government is, is going to acknowledging start to acknowledging that, yeah, they are ETs and they're going to say they are bad. They're coming here to destroy us. So that's why they want to control the narrative to let us know that, you know, these ETs, they are different from us and they want to take from us um, so that they can keep us in fear. So when you, when you um, hear the government talking, the U.S. government talking about it, then you know that, ah, okay. <laughs> they are playing that um, that card, the fear card again. So what do you do? What do we do? Get popcorns, just watch the show, but don't buy into the, the, uh, the drama because, you know. <laughs> there's really no drama. Questions? Comments? I have a question. Uh, something that maybe not covered in the video. What about uh, the fact that we are um, pretty much destroying Earth? 
with all this stuff we're doing and the overpopulation that, you know, can the earth support all these people? How many people do you think it's on earth? How many people? We've heard 8 billion. Have you seen 8, million, 8 billion people? No. <laughs> 8 billion people is a number. And I already mentioned to you that there are other tribes that's playing mm. the same playground. So what does that tell you? <laughs> it's all made up anyway, right? It's all made up. <laughs> So we are doing things, we are killing Mother Earth, all of that. It's true, to some extent, we are really, um, yeah, we are doing harm to Mother Earth. But you know what? Mother Earth knows how to take care of itself. Mm. If Mother Earth does not like us, Mother Earth can <laughs> earthquake. Right. It has so many ways to flick us off. We have, like if Mother Earth wants to get rid of us, it will, it can. So, right. yeah. Oh, I actually, many uh, predictions said uh, we will lose a lot of people in the future years including 2024 for job for some other things i don't know anyway i mm -hmm. somebody said anyway a lot of so it's living um that is yeah um that is but um Okay, so there are people who don't want to stay on. They, they, they like to go to, they want to go to the 3D paradigm. There is actually other 3D playground. So those people who are not ready to move to 5D, um, like Earth, this Earth, is already in 5D and we, the human beings now, we are just catching up. So Earth is 5D and if anybody who does not like to play in 5D, they still wants to have the 3D experience, they would choose ways to move off this Earth and go to another playground that allows them to continue to experience 3D. Um, are the, all of the people that die going to 3D? No, not 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 necessarily. Um, some of those people that are going that are that may be deciding to check out is because you know all they want to do is come here and experience the split, and then they're going to go off to a different playground. Or they may decide, the soul may decide, well, yes, I want to experience fifth dimension earth, but my body, because I've been, you know, playing too crazily in the past, I don't know how many years, I don't think my body can make that shift. So I'm going to choose to die this, this body, choose to get rid of this body and then come back again to get a new body. So there are so many ways to make this shift to the fifth dimension. Um, so those, like, those are all the different, well, not all, like, like, not all the different ways that you, you, that why people want to check out, but you know, those are a few of the other ways that people will choose to leave this, the body that they have right now and um, and that is their soul's choice. 
Yes, I saw. I think I watched. I didn't watch. I I didn't click the in. But the one uh, YouTube video, the title is "We Want to Go Home." <laughs> So as those people want to leave, they have a video just to talk about that, make me want to laugh. Huh. For whatever reasons, yeah. And um <clears throat> Okay. Any other comments? Okay, let's move on. A artificial intelligence. Oh, go ahead. Well, I was just wondering, is, is there a time where we're going to sort of remove ourselves from what's going on in this craziness? We're just going to move away from that and just say, okay, look, I, I'm not going to get caught up in that. I'm just going to basically create my own world. That's what we're doing. That's why, <laughs> um, that's why I want to um stress is to um you know when all of this the these craziness is being pushed on us is to really remember that you know yes they can push but we don't have to accept <laughs> yeah. okay okay we we can we can just say no thank you so yeah. after you say no thank you what do you what do you do then um like if you are, so you can either um, switch off the television or if you are right in the middle of, you know, the, the war zone, then you can move yourself out. Right. So you you don't have to stay there if that is not the um, reality that you want to experience. You have to make a choice. What do you want to experience? And once you make right. the choice, then you create that that um, the the scenario to move yourself out. So it's a, a journey to move yourself out. And and right now, my best advice to you in you know I, I think most of us are uh, not in any uh, war zone or any that kind of stuff. Not not physical, anyways. Is right. to you know, um, remember don't take sides. Um, all of these things are designed to divide us, to um, keep us low vibration, and so just keep yourself high vibration. That's right. your main job. Look yeah. for yourself. Look after your body. Look after as many people as. Um, you realistically think you can look after. I mean, don't overextend yourself, but then, you know, you're not, we are not stone cold beings. So if you can help somebody without um, jeopardizing yourself, then yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. As well. Yeah. But don't, uh, but don't, um, you know, don't try to go overboard and say, if I don't help them, then, you know, no. <laughs> if you can, help them, but don't help somebody and then um, make yourself suffer afterwards. That's that's not, that's not going to support you to stay high vibration. Um, like, be good, do good, but also allow yourself to enjoy your life. Because the more you can enjoy your life, the more you will to stick around. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, okay. So uh, just quickly talk about um, artificial intelligence. There is this narrative that's saying that I, artificial intelligence is bad. And then um, I think there's a movie called The Creator which kind of kind of say that um, you know artificial intelligence is good. So this narrative of you know AI is good, AI is bad, that's going to be um, you know, more and more um, in the being played out 
next or well, this year and next year as well. Uh, same same agenda divide to divide. So same response. Get popcorn. <laughs> Watch the show, but don't take sides. So um, okay. So what is, have I missed anything in terms of how to how to? Okay, so let me just um, get back to. So what's the best thing we can do? Support yourself. Support your body. Support your own um, spiritual well-being. Um, that, those two. And also support others. Because when we are in a group, when we are united, we are stronger. So that's why there's so much division because they're trying to keep us weak. So find others, find groups that you resonate with. Um, you don't need to agree with all of their, their um, ideologies. Just make sure that they are um, open-minded and keep yourself open-minded as well. And also, you know, in, in the past couple of years, especially um, in the beginning of 2020, when we, we first get exposed to this, this, that we try to say, okay, I am right. And um, the rest of my family, you know, they, they are asleep. I have to wake them up. I have to argue with them. I have to disagree with them. And uh, all those things um, is to get to the point where we like, really get that, you know, everyone's higher self is in charge of their own spiritual journey. If they haven't woken up by now, you can safely say that it's not your job to wake them up. Your job is to love them. And if you... Uh, like, if you still can get along with them without um, needing to be right and, and show that they are wrong, then perfect. If not, then, you know, process your own sense of righteousness. Let them have their own stories and get to the point where you or work it out with them so that you can agree to disagree. You don't need to agree with you. You don't need to agree with them. But um, come together as a family if you still have family. So, because our human body needs family. Whether family is our birth family or friends that we call family. It doesn't matter. But we need other people to feel safe. So get to the point where you can um, let go of enough of that just, you know, need for other people to agree with you. Because I know myself, I need other people to agree with me. Otherwise I would feel unsafe. I would feel threatened. So that's something that I've been working on is to letting go of the fear and know that even when other people don't agree with me, it's okay. They can have their stories and um, let go of that need to be right or need to have other people agree with you. They may not agree with you, but that does not mean that they won't play with you. Just um, as grown-ups, um, we don't need to agree with all the people around us, but we can agree that you know this world is is really better when there are different ideas. Because when we when we can openly talk about different points of view, we there's actually synergy that we can come up with a solution that is better than. Um, what each of us can think of. And that's what we are looking for, is to get to the point where we 
we feel safe enough to create that synergy. And when we can do that, then we actually will start to come together to build a better world. And so as the, the old world is tumbling, our job is actually to prepare ourselves to let go of you know, our own stuck opinions, to be open-minded and be able to find a way to build a much better society. And that's how we create heaven on earth. Have I missed anything? No, I think I've covered everything that I have outlined. So now back to you all. Any questions, concerns, comments? Thank you for your gift of uh, this information. Really, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Vinu. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining me. And um, let's see. I guess we will be okay. We have uh, so many people who are together. And it's really difficult that we can uh, help each other. <laughs> I mean, not physically, but... Uh... <laughs> mm, okay. Um, I actually want to to share one more thing um, and mm -hmm. um, I want to share part of my own transformation the last couple of weeks um, which I would suggest as a resource is um, I, I saw a movie maybe about two weeks ago it's called The Boys in the Boat and I think it's still playing in the theater in uh, Toronto. And I was really touched by that movie. Um, it's about, it's about um, eight men rowing competition. So the most difficult spots is to, it's really the eight, eight men rowing or eight person rowing. It could be women rowing as well, but there's eight people rowing in the same boat. So why? Because eight, eight people that's rowing the boat has to work as one. Because if, you know, first person row out of sync with the second or the third, or if any one of those eight people is rowing out of sync, it actually slows the boat down. But when eight people and work together as one, they, the boat is going to fly or it will feel like flying. And I find that um, movie very inspiring. I liked it so much that I actually got the book and you know, the, the book is actually gives a lot more detail. And one of the, I would say one of the In most inspiration part for me was there is this guy called Joe Renz. So the, the actually this these eight people actually nine because there is eight people doing the rowing and then there is one person they call it the coxswain which um, is the one that controls and let and let the whole rest of the boat know, you know, how, how fast they should be rowing, you know, when they should slow down, that kind of stuff. To one is the controller, and then so nine people on the boat. So these nine, nine, um, my nine people boat. They they started out as, you know, these these people are 
from poor families. They couldn't even, um, like they don't even have shoes without holes to wear and they have to roll boats and enter the, 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 the competition so that, because when, if they are in the comp, in the, the, the league, they actually get money to, and they get a place to stay, they get food to eat and all that. So originally those, those um, people, the, the, the kids that do all that sports, they do it because they have to. Their life depends on it. And they they were um, they were alive at the, the time at a time in the USA where there's a depression going on. There's no work, so they have to do this in order to um, feed themselves to to get themselves through through university. Where you know if they have a good education, they may they have a better chance of life and all that. So. So that's all in the background. And um, so this group of, you know, ragtag um, people, they came from being nobody. They're just rowing because they have to, to being able to beat um, some of the, the most prestigious um, rowing leaks in the USA and then they went on to beat the um, they went on to the Olympics it's 1936 Olympics rowing they, it's a real story based on a real story they actually was able to beat and be the best in the world so it was a very inspiring story and the, um, the most inspiring part was um, the, the the main character Joe Renz at the end of winning after having won all that. So everybody went out to celebrate, but he didn't, he, he's the only one to stay behind because he is trying to process in his mind how he can get to the point where of being abandoned by his family at 13 years old, have to fend for himself to, you know, all of a sudden being able to win the high like one of the a gold medal for the USA so and what he got was that when you give yourself your all um, then you know that everyone else on the boat is going to support you and everyone back home at the USA is going to support you so it's he got to the point where he understood that um there is something bigger than himself at work here. And when you have no other thoughts in your mind except to achieve something, whether that something is to create a new system or to create you know, heaven on earth or whatever else it is, if you only focus on that and have no other you're not worrying, you know, okay, am I good enough? Or is the wind going to be blowing the right way? When you have no other thoughts than just focusing on your goal, then the rest of the human collective, the rest of the world will support you. And that actually carried him beyond winning the, the, the gold medal. He went on to have a um, much better life than he started off with. And I think it's all because he got that. He got that. Even though he has gone through all of these um, you know, trials and tribulations, he got that. He is being supported. And, that's, and, and that all he has to do is just focus on what he wants. So that's what I want to share with you all is to, you know, I'm a worrier. I've been worrying my whole life. And when I read that, it really inspired me and, and reminded me that, you know, this worrying energy, it's not really serving me. Is is actually when I get to the point where I don't need to worry. I just have to know what it is that I want to create, know what my part is. 
in in my life in this right now and so whether it is physically as Winnie or um, spiritually as somebody that's way beyond um, who Winnie could um, really grasp is to just go for that to know that yeah okay it's all doable nobody can um, stop me forever the only person that can stop me or derail me is myself and and I just want want to share that with all of you and that's like the last couple of weeks that's my that has been my um, biggest take home and I hope all of you would at some point really get that as well because I know we have been programmed with you know we need to worry we need to do a second guess ourselves no we don't that's just the old programming Thank you very much, everybody, for joining me this evening. Um, Thank you, Vinny. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I look forward to the meditation. We didn't we didn't manage to do a meditation tonight, but uh, we shall do that on Saturday. So if you have time, then join me this Saturday to do a meditation, and yeah. also remind yourself to do something for yourself each day it does not have to be long just you know 15 20 minutes if you don't meditate then like even doing housework could be actually a meditation if you set that as your intention so thank you so much for the wonderful thank message thank you, thank you. Have, a, okay. have a good night yeah. See you Saturday. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Take care. Good night.